It's straight out of a Hollywood script. One of the world's most elite financial figures, a possible presidential candidate, snatched from his first class seat moments before his Paris found plane took off from New York. The saga began at this posh midtown Manhattan hotel, the Sofitel. Police say one o'clock Saturday afternoon, a hotel housekeeper entered room 2806, a luxury $3,000 a night multi room suite. Dominique Strauss Kahn allegedly walked out of his bathroom naked and forced himself on the 32 year old woman. She escaped, but by the time police arrived, they say Kahn was gone. Detectives found his cell phone still in the room. They pulled him off a flight at New York's JFK airport moments before he left for France. The hotel released a statement saying, We are taking this matter seriously and cooperating with the NYPD. Tourists staying at the hotel are more vocal. It's outrageous. I mean, someone at that level. Right to um, act like that is incomprehensible. Dominique Strauss-Kahn is the head of the International Monetary Fund, a giant global bank that loans money to developing countries, one of the biggest roles in the global financial world. He's expected to run for president, considered to be the leading rival to French President Nicolas Sarkozy in the 2012 election. This isn't Khan's first brush with controversy. In 2008, he had an affair with a Hungarian economist, admitting he, quote, made an error of judgment. His rumored sexual escapades have been folklore in France for years. It doesn't surprise us, no. He is a father of four and married to his third wife, one of the most esteemed television journalists in France, American-born Anne Sinclair. But today, he's the one making headlines.